A vigilante search for justice backfires. A woman's dog was killed in an attack in Prospect Park back in August. And two months later, with the killer still on the loose, she says she tracked him down. But when she started following him while waiting for police, the suspect turned the tables. His eyewitness news reporter, Kimberly Richardson. I was left out like bait for 40 minutes. Here in Prospect Park as Jessica followed the man who attacked her and her dog back in August, hitting both with a stick. The 40-year-old says Moose needed surgery but didn't pull through. There's no words to describe losing your dog in that manner. Police were not able to find the man. Then Friday morning around 645, Jessica says a friend spotted him here along Prospect Park West, called 911, and then Jessica. I was out the door in less than 60 seconds because the police have set the parameters where I need to be present for him to be arrested. Jessica says she also called 911 several times, maintaining when she got to 9th Street, she then spotted a marked police car. They would not lower their window, and they waved me away. Jessica did link up with her friend and took over, trailing about 20 feet behind the stranger. She says he turned into the park right here, realized she was following him, and maced her. She backed off. He then took off down Garfield Street, she stayed with him. I'm thinking someone's going to be here any moment. Jessica tells me things took a sudden and terrifying turn right here. She says the man ran into this building. She lost sight of him, but seconds later, he reappeared. He comes out from the brownstone with a stick and starts chasing me, and that's with the mace and the stick and full speed. Police arrived, took a report, but have not tracked down the man. Jessica realizes she could have been seriously hurt and says she will not do this again alone.